Aaron Tuttle here. It's storm season in Oklahoma, and with that comes torrential rain, high winds, and hail. To protect your home and your family from these threats, the one roofing company you should trust is Ferguson Roof Systems. They've been providing the best in roofing services for nearly half a century. Ferguson is Oklahoma's full service roofing company, certified with an A plus Better Business Bureau rating and a five star rating on Google. And with Ferguson now offering class four impact resistant shingles, now is the time to trust them with your home's roof. Get started today at fergusonroofsystems.com. Hey there, meteorologist Aaron Tuttle with you. It is about 10 minutes till noon. Had a little rough start there. Still having a rough start. I don't know. Take off for a week, come back, the whole thing goes down the tubes. Uh, anyway, I'll get all that worked out here eventually. So we get the gremlins gone, but uh, we'll talk about your weekend forecast here. So thanks for joining me. Uh, we do have some storms out there currently still is across parts of eastern and central Oklahoma. And then we'll see some more later today and tonight. So the good news is we get some rain. The bad news is some of these storms will have some hail and some wind with them. The hail could be, you know, quite large and the wind could be quite strong. So we talked about that last night. So if you missed last night, uh, don't worry. We'll get you caught up to date here now. All right, so thanks for joining me on YouTube, Twitter, and uh, all that stuff. Let's see. Uh, YouTube's complaining about the video performance, but hopefully you guys are still checking out me you all know, okay. And Twitter, I don't know. It's buffering, but it looks like it's going. So, I don't know. It could be a, uh, it could be a situation where I'm not getting enough uh, bandwidth, but that's all right. That's a whole different issue. Not in my ballpark. Okay, so let's talk about the conditions out there currently. We have close to 80 degrees here in my backyard. I'm at 79.9. You can't get any closer than that. You have a nice skyline, though, partly cloudy skies out there, so it looks pretty good. Now, if we do look elsewhere, though, and I do mean like across the state, we're talking about some rain that extends from around Vanita to Pryor uh, through the South Tulsa area, through Okmulgee, even a severe thunderstorm warning for this guy here. And it's for your typical garden variety, one inch size hail, gust of 60 miles per hour, it's no big deal. Uh, back into uh, central Oklahoma, though, as we head into Prague, uh, Bowley, um, and we head down towards Shawnee and Tecumseh. We do have some nice rough thunderstorms here as well. Uh, again, hail size just under an inch, wind is got gusting up to around 40, but the good news is some beneficial rain, a little bit of lightning with that. And that extends down toward Brooks, Tribby, and down toward Paoli in Maysville with some new development going on down this area. Now, nothing here across the greater Oklahoma City metro area. This is just remnants of that morning and overnight activity that moved through. Uh, things quiet elsewhere over the body of Oklahoma. Okay, so let's see what we got out there. So currently, we are into the... 80s southwestern Oklahoma near 90 almost 70s here central and 60s in that rain cooled air up to our north and east winds aren't nearly as strong today as they have been actually pretty decent um, you know that's 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 a nice change I mean seriously <laughs> and I do mean seriously now the rainfall did happen last night as you notice it was across uh, the uh, kind of the western areas of the state uh, let me see I'm gonna do something here real quick hold that thought all right. Um, so northwestern, north central, and west uh, western Oklahoma all saw just a little bit of rain, just from some isolated showers and thunderstorms that moved through. Um, few and far between, but consider yourself lucky if you got them. Then, like we talked about last night, this this perpetual rain here that could lead to some brief flash flooding. That's what we saw here so far today. So everything's worked out as planned to start out our Friday. Of course, we need more rain because western Oklahoma is in a drought condition. All right, the upper levels of the atmosphere. Here's a look at the jet stream pattern, which does show you this little disturbance here is helping to kick off these showers of storms all the way down from Oklahoma on up to the north. And the, the low was actually here last night. It's zoomed up now into Canada. So it is now in a Manitoba, providing them some weather. But the main upper level low is out here, still spinning around like this, which is shutting off the Gulf of Mexico and actually kind of killing most of our severe weather season in the last few days. Um, it will eventually move off to the north and east, and as it does, that allow the Gulf of Mexico to open back up and the jet stream that'll come in from the west and it'll do what it normally does here for May. But that's not now. That's um, over the next couple of days. All right, let's take a look at your severe weather threat. Now, last night we talked about how the National Weather Service, they added about like this. 
I told you that they would probably draw it about like this, and that's exactly what they did based off the new data that we looked at last night uh, around the 9.30 hour. So join me at 9.30 in the evenings if you haven't checked in yet. And then as far as Tulsa is concerned, they also dropped it more south toward McAllister as we talked about. So uh, that is where the threat of severe weather is for today. So here's a look at your temperatures this afternoon, about the upper 80s to around 90 here in central Oklahoma. A couple degrees cooler to the northeast, several degrees warmer down to the south and west. If you want a little sneak peek of what's going to happen here for Saturday and Sunday, uh, this plot here, we're into the 80s to near 90 again for Saturday. And then for Sunday, same kind of idea, a little bit warmer, low 90s here in central Oklahoma, but close to 100 across far southwest Oklahoma. So it will be a warm weekend. All right. Now, there's not a single model that has a good idea of what's happening currently. It's not surprising. Summertime type hybrid situations, they usually don't. But the general consensus is it does keep producing more showers and storms through at least lunchtime, of course, which is now across eastern Oklahoma. And obviously, those are going to linger a little bit longer than what they've currently thought they were going to die off. So eventually, though, we're going to get some more shower storms bubbling up here in central and southern Oklahoma late afternoon uh, into the evening hours. And there's kind of anchored over this area. They don't really show much here on this data today for some reason. Models aren't doing too good. Saturday, um, most of the models have the storms out here across the Panhandle. And then on Sunday, there's another threat of severe weather here across northeastern Oklahoma. And there could be a couple of tornadoes in this mess uh, for Saturday, uh, Sunday afternoon and evening. So if you're watching up there across that area, keep, keep that in mind. We'll have more on that a little bit later. Uh, so that was one of our, our high resolution models that are supposedly do a good job, but you know. So here's another one. It keeps that stuff out to the east going to again to about lunchtime and it weakens it, has some more stuff down north south and then it doesn't really do much. And then come the evening hours, it bubbles things up here across the I-35 corridor north and south. So finally, at least I like this output better for later on this evening. So we should be getting some rain here in Oklahoma City. If it, if it doesn't happen uh, by 5 o'clock, 6 o'clock uh, with daytime heating, it's going to happen with the secondary push um, for later on this evening into the early part of overnight. And that will all activity will move to the south and east with time. Uh, and as we've shown you before, there's some significant uh, wind that can happen with those and some significant rain for that matter. Um, so anytime you get in these heavier downpours, you can pick up a quick half inch to an inch of rain, which could lead to some flash flooding. Uh, let me go here with uh, her model on that one. And that's why sometimes you get those little warnings. And it does have little pockets of heavy rain here in Oklahoma City. And there's almost an inch there, northern Canadian County. So it's going to be kind of, you know, hit and miss. It's not going to be a complete widespread deal. So some of you may get be dry tonight. It's kind of the way that looks. Now, we do talk about the wind field uh, within this. Uh, let me show you this guy here. Uh, let's see if it has it. So anytime you see little yellow on the map, that's where winds in excess of 60 miles per hour. So wherever we're supposed to see storms, um, you have the potential to get some damaging winds. So if I just put a little cursor in here, the wind speed's in here around 70. Last night we saw some data that was up around 99 miles per hour. Um, but those are some storms that happen in the afternoon not in the overnight period. The winds won't be as strong overnight as they can be during the afternoon because they don't get as strong and as tall as far as the uh, severity goes. Okay, so I could keep showing you more, but why bother? Here's a look at your forecast in the rest of today. Uh, we should be, like I said, close to 90. And same thing on Saturday and Sunday. So no real big change in our temperatures for a while. The big exception there would be Monday, which looks like a nice little brief cool down. And then later on to about the 23rd of the month, we might get another little bit of a cool down. Um, so that's what I got for you. That's the real quick and dirty uh, forecast here for your Friday on the weekend. So your highlights are scattered showers and thunderstorms redeveloping here in central, southern, southeastern Oklahoma as we head into the late afternoon and evening. So if you have any outdoor plans, just make sure you have a backup. Make sure you use more weather app, AT's weather to go. It tracks those storms on the radar for you, shows you an arrow of direction, tells you what's in the storm. If you tap the edge of the arrow, a little box on it, you'll get a white box that pops up. When you do that, you can click on the white box and it'll give you a time of arrival. So there's lots of little he hidden Easter eggs in there. Just tap stuff and see what happens. Um, okay, and the threat would be for some large hail damaging wind. Could have some hail up around um, anywhere from golf ball size to maybe baseballs. Uh, in the afternoon uh, and early evening storms. And then overnight storms that have the smaller hail, about an inch. Uh, the winds, again, possibly up around 90 miles per hour. Uh, some of those storms this afternoon and evening, but then overnight, those storms are only about 60, um, usually not nearly as strong. And let's see, Western Oklahoma, 
um, into the Texas Panhandle on Saturday. Just a few rogue storms uh, that way. Uh, so consider yourself more likely if you get rain, although it will probably come a little bit of hail and wind. And then on Sunday right now, signal is for northeast Oklahoma uh, getting some action on Sunday afternoon and evening, and some of those could be tornadic. We're just now kind of getting to that window of data where the models are starting to suggest there may be enough ingredients for that. Otherwise, wind and hail, so typical stuff for our spring into early summer. I did not look at the pattern beyond, so as far as extended goes, I do know that May usually doesn't disappoint when it comes to severe weather. We peak out this time of the year. Um, so we'll have to see what happens with that over time as the pattern starts to change, become more favorable for that. Right now it's not because the the way that pattern is with the upper low across the uh, southeastern U.S. We were kind of on the west side of a ridge and the other lows on the northwestern part of the country. So we're kind of stuck in the middle with you. It's <laughs> an old reference. Okay, so that's it for me. I hope you guys uh, got what you needed out of that. And thanks for joining and tuning in. Uh, let's see. Make sure you have a great weekend. Uh, make sure you stay weather aware. Uh, I will be back probably again this evening. Uh, now, there, I won't see a need to uh, do like live severe weather coverage unless there's just an event that's just a really high magnitude. In other words, maybe something coming into a highly populated city area and it's got winds in excess of 80 miles per hour kind of a deal, right, over a wide area. Um, so I don't expect any tornadoes. And maybe that with destructive hail, something like that. So I will cover like really high magnitude events like that. Otherwise, I typically just cover tornadoes. But I should be back just for a forecast anyway in the evening um, for the rest of the weekend as well. So that's the way I've got it going on for you. Well, that's it. I'm out of time. Well, thank you guys for tuning in and joining. Please like and share this video. Tell your friends and family about AT's weather. Hope you enjoy the rest of your lunch for your Friday. And we shall talk again soon. Take care, everybody. Have a great weekend.